Hi, welcome to another episode of I'm Alex. Today, I'm showing you a freehold terrace in District 15, the Opera Estate. Opera Estate is sitting in a nice landed enclave, yet easy access to the amenities. So without further ado, let's check it out. The location. Opera Estate is located in District 15. Short walking distance, approximately 10 minutes to Budok Mall and Budok MRT. Just opposite at Chai Chi Estate, there's small market, supermarket and many eateries. There's also a feeder bus number 42 to Kebangga MRT. We have a park connector that can lead you to East Coast Park. We are also within 1km to Opera Estate and St. Stephen Primary, 2km to Red Sosika and Nian Primary. This is a three-storey, freehold terrace with a land size of 1393 square feet with a build-up of 3000 square feet, owner rebuilt N2014, which is approximately eight years ago. This was demolished and built from scratch. Do you know the difference between rebuilt, a reconstruction and a and a Check out my lender ask who, it will explain more. So without further ado, let's check it out inside. The more we step in, we are welcome with this high ceiling. I like the idea where the owner have did a French door where we can look out to our garden and also the outdoor area. This also allows wind circulation to flow through this nice open concept design where the owner has built from the living all the way to the kitchen area. This is a very spacious living hall where we can fit in big sofa sets and good distance from the television. As I always say, there's one good, no two good. When we have higher ceiling, means we have more stairs to take, which I feel for the first level is always good to have high ceiling. Next, let me bring you to the dining and kitchen. This is a good sized dining area where we currently have a round table with six sitter and a piano at the other side. There's one important feature that the owner has built for this house. An air well from the top to the first level, it will bring in good natural skylight. For those terraces that don't come with an air well, normally it will be darker in the center part. So I feel that this is one of the important features for a terrace house. Behind, we have a nice open concept dry kitchen and wet kitchen. This is under the category 2 terraces where we do not require a 2 meter setback. We can build the house all the way to the boundary. We also have a granny room that can fit in a queen size bed and also attached bathroom. The bathroom basically does access from the granny room and also the kitchen. We also have a bomb shelter for your storage use. Next, let me bring you up to the second level. So here we are on the second level landing area. Behind me will be the air well bringing good natural skylight to the centre part of this level. The bedroom faces the front will be the master bedroom. Come, let's take a look. This is a very spacious master bedroom. No doubt with a queen size bed, we can always change to a king size bed. There is also a four door full height wardrobe and there is still plenty of space to add on more things if you want. There is also a nice balcony where we can step up, overlook the entire estate and a spacious bathroom with bathtub. Next, let me share with you the other bedroom on this level. This is the other bedroom on the second level. Currently, we have a queen size bed. We can always convert to a king size bed. And there is also a walking wardrobe, good distance away from the television. And we also have a nice study corner. The owner also planned for future usage where we can divide this room into two bedrooms. We just got to add a center wall and both bedrooms will be sharing the Jack and Joe bathroom. Next, let me bring you up to the third level.
So here we are on the third level. This is one of the favorite area that I like for the unit. There is a roof terrace that we can step out enjoying the breeze and we can also add outdoor furnitures, having a glass of wine in the evening or friends gathering. And when you need more rooms, this is the area that we can always cater to another bedroom. So the important features on the air well that the owner have added, bringing you natural skylight from the top all the way to the first level. There is also a common bathroom that we have high ceiling and also skylight in the bathroom. There is also another bedroom that we can easily fit in a queen size bed or we can use it as an entertainment room. To buy a single-storey terrace for rebuild in today's market range from 3 to 3.5 million. And to fully rebuild a terrace house, construction cost will be 1.8 to 2 million. In order to buy or build a brand new terrace today, we require a budget of approximately 5 to 6 million. Why not consider this unit when it's only built 8 years ago without waiting for 1.5 to 2 years building time? If you are keen to view this three-storey freehold terrace, kindly contact me for a viewing now. Remember what I say, there's one good, no two good. If both are good, price not good. Kindly like, share and subscribe to I'm Alex and I will see you soon.